Hello children, good morning to you all. Hope you understood yesterday's lesson which was about words, phrases and sentences. Now, to make these sentences, you know what are words. You need words. Which type of words we need is a question now. To make any type of sentence, we need subject first. Means noun form or pronoun form. Hmm? What, which comes in the beginning of the sentence. Name of the person or name of an animal, name of the thing on which action is done. Okay. So, two parts of the sentences we are going to learn today. We are going to learn today two parts of sentences which are called subject and predicate. Yesterday we learnt what is sentence. So, in sentence has two parts. They are called subject and predicate. Hmm. If we write any simple sentence, like Venu is flying a kite. This is one small sentence. Venu is flying a kite. Rohan and Rohit are friends. Rohan and Rohit are friends. I like sweets very much. Hmm. Pencil. Eraser, and book, and notebook, are used for writing. Example sentences I give. Huh? These are four sentences with their help. I am going to teach you what is subject and what is predicate. Okay, the sentence here began with the word Venu. In second sentence, Rohan I Rohit. Third sentence, I. Fifth sentence, pencil, eraser. I am the notebook. Okay. These are the nouns. You know last year you learned what are nouns? Naming words are called nouns. Names of things, names of animals, names of uh, human beings, man, woman, names of persons. Okay. Names of river, everything. These names are called nouns. Okay. These names are called nouns. Whatever it can be, a name of a person. Here you see, Venu is name of a boy, you think. Hmm. Rohan and Rohit, names of boys. Two we got here. I, pronoun it is. In place of noun, we use it. I. You can't, uh, if you are talking about you, for example, if your name is Rita, you can't say Rita likes sweets very much. You can't tell if you are talking about yourself, you should use I. Hmm? So it is pronoun. Here, 
we have got names of things. Here names of things. Pencil, eraser, I notebook. These are the names of things. Last, I will give name of an animal. The cat eats mice. You know mice? Cats. Here cat is the name of an animal. This is how these are the nouns we use. It is only not a noun, it is a pronoun. We call it personal pronoun. But remaining all here it is the name of a boy. Here it is name of boys who are there. And here name of things we got. Pencil, eraser, notebook etc. Then here the cat, animal's name we got here. So whatever may be the name. Name of a person, name of a things, name of animal or rivers, building, school, whatever it is. Which comes in the beginning, in the first place, it is called subject. The word which comes in the beginning of the sentence, it is a naming word. Probably it is a naming word. Mostly it will be a naming word. Or else in place of that naming word, we will use he, she, it. They also can be your subjects. We call it subject. Here Rohan is a naming word, Rohit is a naming word. Till the naming words end, it is called subject. Here only I is there. But this I is also subject. Here we got three. Completely three are subject. Here the cat. It is a subject. Okay. So either one or whatever may be the number. So un unless the verb starts, action word starts, or be found starts, it is a subject. The things which you get in the beginning. What are these things or names, naming words? They are subjects. Why we call them subject? We can't call all naming words subjects. For example, here in uh, I like sweets. Sweet is a name of a thing. Friends, name of a person. Kite, name of a thing. Mice, name of animals. They are coming in the last, but we don't call all naming words as nouns. Sorry, as subjects. What I told? Naming words are subjects. Certain. Then which naming words are called subjects? Only if they come in the beginning of the sentence. They are called subject. And which come in the end or in the middle of the sentence, they are not called. Why? I am telling. What is subject? Subject means not your science, math, social studies subject here. Subject means the one who does the work is called a subject. One who is doing an action is called a subject. Here who is doing an action? Venu. Venu is flying a kite. What is an action? He is flying a kite. It is an action. Rohan and Rohit, what they are? They are friends. Okay, this is verb we used. Here, like is action word. So, like nunchi very much. This is one case. Huh? Are used for writing. The cat eats mice. Okay, so subject is a noun or naming word or pronoun which is used in the beginning of the sentence. Why we call it a subject? It is a noun who does the action. The naming word which comes in the beginning of the sentence. One who does the action is called subject. One who does the action is called subject. And what action is done is called predicate. What is done by the subject is called predicate. One who does the action is subject and what work is done is a predicate. From where predicates are only naming words you see. After naming words you get B form verbs. Is, are, understand here are. Here action word like you got. So action words nunchi end raka which is predicate. Understand it is a predicate. 
right from action word till the end here are be form till end like action till end here are till end here eats action word till end these are the predicates which i rounded up they are predicates what what do you mean by predicates predicate is a part of the sentence which shows us the action done by the subject hmm? predicate is the part of a sentence which shows us the action done by the subject or in a still simpler way i tell you subject is one who does the action hmm and predicate is what action is done by the subject subject ante starting lo unna noun form hmm it can be a person's name place name uh, things name etc animals name but what action we do is what action subject does is predicate like this we have two parts of the sentence any sentence you take they have two parts first part is called subject and the second part is called predicate okay what is subject again the hmm, what i can call one who does the action is subject what action is being done is called predicate so generally it can be one naming word it can be two or more than two also where this be form starts or main verb starts from there till end it is predicate i hope you understood this part now once once again i tell there are two parts in any type of sentence yesterday we learned the sentence today what are the two parts of sentence two parts of the sentence are subject and predicate what is subject subject is the person who does the action always the person who does the action comes in the beginning of the sentence person or thing or, or what action is done is predicate what is subject the person who does the action or a thing which is being used to do the action they are subject and what action is done that is predicate how can we understand what is subject what is predicate only noun forms hmm? naming words one here you got two here you got one here you got three here again one so till you get the naming word is kani or kani like action direct main verb and it's here these two are main verbs we got like that from verb till the end is predicate only the naming word is called subject the naming word is it can be one in the beginning always subject is in the beginning the naming word noun form it can be one or more than one and why why we call they perform the action they do the action and what action is being done is predicate now one small activity i give you please you people have to do it at home very small only four to five sentences underline the subject and circle the predicate circle the predicate subject comes in the beginning of the sentence we are going to underline after the subject right from is are till the end it is predicate the sun gives us light the sun gives us light here what is predicate the sun is predicate we underline 
gives us light is sorry the sun is subject gives us light is predicated this is how you have to do cos cos hmm first one i showed you how to do second to fifth one four you are doing the cat he is a pet animal third my brother is very clever anu sings a song raju wrote a poem so these are the four sentences where you are underlining the subject and rounding up the predicate so here ends our class children thank you so much